Hello everyone, Dhruv Bas here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to insert data into Pinecone and also make sure that it is only inserted once. So one of the things that happens when you're working with workflows is sometimes you need to regenerate things. So you need to rerun the workflow and you wanna make sure that the workflow doesn't insert data into your Pinecone vector store twice. So the way that we do this is we have two steps. We have step number one, which is check if the data is already been vectorized and stored into Pinecone. And the step number two is if that is false, then just make sure that you do the insertion into Pinecone. Now, why do we need to make sure of this thing? Well, the reason must be obvious to you that uh, you don't want duplicate data, but there's a hidden reason as to why we don't want duplicate data. And that is that when you do a similarity search later on, in that case, you will encounter an issue, which is you will have duplicate documents being returned. And if you want to avoid having duplicate documents being returned, you then have to make sure that your data set is clean. And duplicate documents means that you're going to get less data because you're going to have multiples of the same document being returned. So you don't have as many documents or as much variety in the data that is returned for your application. Okay, so the way that this essentially works is you have a node over here, which is going to allow you to retrieve data from your pinecone index. You use a get many, you just give it a sample prompt. This is just, it just says A which um, which it just doesn't matter what, uh, you just need to put something here. Limit this to one, filter based on metadata. Uh, make sure you have some sort of metadata which is based on a unique value. So here, this is a ClickUp task. So it's the task ID that I'm using to make sure that it is unique. And uh, since this has already been uh, imported, then what we have is we have the data being outputted on the right side. And then you just check to see if there indeed was some data that uh, came in. And since the output wasn't empty, you essentially know that uh, there was some sort of uh, data that came in. And one thing to make sure also is to just make it so that if this doesn't output anything, it still outputs something. So there is this setting, I think it's gotta be like something like this, always output data. So just make sure that setting is on on these uh, nodes so that the workflow doesn't stop here. You actually do the check. Okay, so you have uh, insertion into Pinecone and uh, these are the following steps for doing that. You essentially just um, put the data into this field, this, this manual field that you have here called text, convert that into a file, make sure you call this data because that is what is the Pinecone vector store is expecting. And then from that point onwards, just a regular insertion to Pinecone. And um, yeah, to be honest, that's, that's all I have. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. I was just creating this for a client, thought you guys might, uh, might run into same, similar issues and I just wanted to create this for you guys. Um, if you found this useful, please do like, subscribe and comment. And if you are a business owner, uh, you can reach out to me uh, to, through my LinkedIn and the links in the description. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.